Okay, today I want to show you how to set up Auxiliary 1 using diversion to turn off 120 volts when the battery voltage falls below a number. The number we're going to use, let's go into the Auxiliary menu by pressing the main menu button right here. We'll scroll to the right using the right arrow to AUX, press ENTER. And we want to make sure the auxiliary one mode is highlighted and we press the setup button top right button now we want to find diversion yeah it's the other way i think it's all the way to the down arrow there's diversion now we want to press volts and here what we're looking at is v low and v high so what we want to do is we want to set the low for the voltage we don't want the battery to go below. And then we want to set the high for the voltage we want it to reconnect at. So in this case we want the low set for 23.5. We want the high set for 24.5. As you can see, 23.5, 24.5. I use the left and right arrows to change it. Now we want to go to time, and we want to make sure these are both set for 5.0. This is in seconds, so that would be 5 seconds, that would be 5.1 seconds. That's all set, so we're going to press enter. This is data set and saved. Now we're going to press the main menu button once. Numbers are still the same. 23.5, it'll turn the signal off. 24.5, it'll turn the signal on. And diversion. And then here we want to make sure it says diversion, not on, not off, but but actual diversion. And we want to press enter. Now I, I want to go back for a minute. You can disregard what I'm doing, but I want to go back for a minute and explain what's going to happen here. So because what we're what we're actually doing is we're using diversion to control a solid state relay to turn the 120 volt loads off if the battery fault voltage falls below a set point. So what's going to happen here is, at 24.5, the relay is going to turn on, allowing the loads to be powered by the inverter. And then if the battery falls down to 23.5, the loads are going to turn back off, thus, you know, no, no load on the inverter. So now we're going to go to the main menu, like I say, we're going to make sure it says diversion there, it does. We're going to press enter to save all of that. Now we're going to go back to the status screen and as you can see it's on because the battery voltage is above a set voltage. Now remembering that we had that set for 23.5, I'm going to slowly turn the voltage down. You can see the voltage going down. I want to sneak up on it because I want you to be able to see the 5 second delay. 23. Twenty three four. Now you'll notice in five seconds the auxiliary went away. We just shut off the load. Now that part worked. We're going to turn it back up to twenty four point five and the load should turn back on. This would be just like the solar panels charging the battery back up. Trying to sneak up on it again. There's twenty four point five. And there, our relay just turned back on, powering the loads. I'm going to go through this one more time really quickly. What we did here is we went to the main menu. We scrolled to find AUX. We pressed enter. We made sure the word under AUX1 was highlighted. We pressed setup. And you can see this is AUX1 relay logic. We scrolled up and down using the down arrow all the way down to find diversion. And then we pressed this top right button right here. I went into volts. We set 23.5 because that's a low battery. That's where we wanted to turn the relay off. And then we set 24.5 because that's where we wanted to turn the relay back on. And then we set it for 5.0 and 5.0. This is five seconds. So the point, you know, if it was after the point, it would be a tenth of a second. This is not 50. This would be five seconds. And what's going to happen here is it's going to have to get to the low battery. It's going to have to stay there for five seconds and then it will it'll shut off. And then when it gets to the high battery, it has to hold that voltage for five seconds before it'll turn back on. And once we had that set, we pressed enter to save it. 
We press the main menu button a couple times to get back to this menu, aux 1, aux 2. And we need to make sure it says diversion there, not on or not off. Manual off is just what it says. It will never ever turn on, period. Manual on is just always on. It's a way to check your work. And then auto or diversion is letting the classic have control of it. We pressed enter to save that data and press status. And we're back to the home screen and the relay now works as intended.